if you want to sell anything online, I mean anything, please watch this short little two minute clip. It was my introduction at a session I did. It was a private $35,000 person mastermind. And you can say I was, <laughs> I was a little bit on fire. Enjoy. If you thought Brian was ranting, hold on my friends, <laughs> hold on. Well, first, all right. First, I'm gonna do a little disclaimer. All these different marketing tactics do work and can work. What Justin taught you obviously has worked well for him and there's a lot of people writing for Agora and that works and continues to work, right? I'm just gonna show you kind of a different way. I'm not saying one is better than the other, although one is, but <laughs> I will let you decide. Seriously, you have to decide what feels right for you, for your market, and for your heart and soul, right? You have to figure that out. And you have to be able to live with yourself and say, this is, I feel really good about this. I feel good about this product. I feel good about this offer. I'm going to sell the shit out of it. If it. So everything starts there. If you guys are selling a product you don't believe in, you think hurts people, then please do me a favor, just get out of the room. Because I don't want to help you. Because then what the hell is the point? And I'm not judging. I'm not saying I'm better than anyone, right? That I'm better than anyone else. But if you're not going to sell stuff that it helps people, that improves their lives, then what the hell are we doing this for, right? What, what does average order value mean if it's worth selling? I get a little emotional because I just see, um, I told you it's a rant. I just see a lot of crap, right? A lot of crap and we get so excited and all we do is talk about getting new customers, getting new customers. How do I get the value up? What's the upsell? What's the next upsell? And we don't talk about people. These are human beings that we're talking about. We're talking about mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, your kids, my wife, like, these are real people on our list, so let's stop treating them like, and let's provide stuff. And I'm telling you right now, I swear to you, you can build a really good business, a really profitable business, and feel good. My kids wear Rewind t-shirts. They tell their, their friends, oh my God, my dad has this great company. Look what he's doing. My daughter's on the varsity tennis team. That's a little brag. Um, first team, all county. <laughs> As a freshman. 23rd in New England. 23rd in New England. <laughs> she is, actually. Uh, and she takes her bars every day for all the girls to play, to have it before they play. I feel good about that. I feel, so feel good about whatever you're selling. And if you don't feel good about what you're selling, and if you're working for someone else and you're a copywriter, you don't feel good, then you better make, a, make their product better so you feel good about it. If not, you gotta find another job. I'm sorry. All right, rant over. Here we go. Rewind bars, baby. <laughs> Rewind bars. Basically, this is gonna be now a 45 minute pitch to buy bars. <laughs> so just, here we go, but uh, there we go. I got order forms, first 10, first 10 to the back. Hope you enjoyed that little rant. I bleeped out the curses for those who don't like the curses. <laughs> I normally don't, but I was just so fired up on that session. But it just goes to show that if you're going to sell something online, why not do something that's going to help people that you love, that you're excited about? It's just as easy, if not it's easier, to sell something that is good. So go for it. If you like this and you want to see more of some of my rants, just ask me below. I'm here to help. I'm here to serve. Let's keep ranting.